Hi, Sharks. My name is Michelle Jimenez, and this is my husband. Andrea Michato. And we're here from New York City. We are seeking a $125,000 investment for 5% Do you notice there's people, company. like, walking around in the background there? You, you mm -hmm. notice, I don't know if you noticed. It, like, let me make it full our screen here. So, like, see, it's, like, moving around company. there. Or I don't know if that's the doors or just people walking around back there. But uh, 2.5 million. Wow. Sharks, who doesn't love pizza? As we all know, there are pizza lovers all over the world. Pizza is delicious, but when you think of frozen pizza, you don't think of it as an appetizer or a high quality gourmet snack. And let's be honest, it can be hard to eat those delicious slices on the go. Plus, the frozen pizza snacks category has gone a bit stale. But that is until the pizza bagel. now. Sharks, meet the pizza cupcake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's your birthday. Oh yeah. One, two, one, two. Oh no. Oh no. He should have had pizza bagels there and like knocked them off the <laughs> Right? <laughs> Knock them off. Pizza cupcake is the next level of pizza that belongs anywhere and everywhere. A fine gourmet snack that's easy to serve and made with high quality ingredients. Plus, our trade secret dough recipe delivers a fluffy texture that's unlike any pizza you've ever had. And because of its cupcake... I better, I better sell like any pizza I've never had, too. <laughs> ...shape and size, the pizza cupcake is perfect for any occasion and can be enjoyed in even more ways and places than your traditional slice. So, Sharks, who's ready to take a bite? Of the pizza cupcake. Hey. Stop Yay. Yes, please dig in. Which one should we try? So those are our two best sellers, the margarita and the pepperoni. So the margarita is the vegetarian pepperoni. As you know, it's one of the So is Connecticut a big pizza place like Jersey, Philly, New York? No? You don't even know? You live I don't know. I live, live in Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. That's right. I, just, <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking this. <laughs> a, There's a lot uh, of pizza places here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would hope so because it's you know just just from osmosis of New yeah. York, Philly, and and New Jersey. <laughs> wow, Americans' favorites. And the sauce is your the sauce. sauce. Is our sauce is the marinara sauce that we made just before we this came in. This is really good. Really good. Wow. <laughs> I hate you because I want to eat these. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Right. Our pizza dough. It's a it's a hybrid. Why is it so good? So like a fluffy. Pastry. There's got to be a lot of butter in this. Exactly. <laughs> no, there is no butter. What? Only olive oil. It's a hybrid between a brioche wow. and a sourdough. So you get the fluffiness of the brioche, and then you get the oh crunchy and How old is this? Like it, it tastes like you made it this morning. That's a frozen product. Yeah, wow. these yeah. from New York City. Yeah. The wow. Well, that's that's incredible because uh, with all that oil, I would think I would expect it to be greasy, right? Like, right. Isn't that how that works? I'm, I'm not a, a cook myself, but I would. I think that's how it works. <laughs> Really good. For Kevin to be silent oh. and just be eating is it's amazing. So good. <laughs> and it's 160 calories for the margarita. Yes. For one, right? Yes, for one. And 170 for the pepperoni. Andrea, tell us your background. How well, that's you not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, you no. look at like what a regular cupcake is, or I mean, maybe a pizza bagel is about that. I don't know. Without doing the research. probably more because it's so many calories in the bagel. Hmm. Yeah come up with this magic so i'm um, born and raised in venice italy and uh, i work in the kitchen as a chef since i was 16 and uh, i moved to london to learn english uh, when i was uh, 19 years old and uh, I by the way i love how they're socially distanced here this is uh great to see yeah uh, when I was uh, 19 years old and uh, in London. Though I, I think they, they uh, from what i read they filmed this in las vegas not in uh in la because probably because they could get away with doing <laughs> <laughs> right. I work for one of the fine Italian restaurants that is owned by one of the largest private members club in uh, in the world. Soho? Soho House. Yeah. And they gave me the opportunity to move to New York in 2006 to open one of their members club. And I spent 10 years doing that until I met Michelle. How did you meet Michelle? So we, we met through a mutual friend and it was really funny because he asked me out on a pizza date. <laughs> and I said, pizza <laughs> ding, date? Ding. No man has ever asked me out for a pizza. But the twist was he wanted to teach me how to make pizza. I'm sure he did. <laughs> <laughs> he had to show off. Yeah, he had to show off. And we've been married for almost two years now and this is our first Aww. baby. Congratulations. You know, I was an event producer and then I worked with social media influencers. And how did you go from this incredible product you're making to actually launching the 
the business. Walk us through that. Actually, there was one event that we did. It was for our best friends. Uh, it was uh, all a group of Italian people, and everybody loved it. And, you know, Italians are picky, so I was like, <laughs> they're afraid. But they all loved it, and she, with her, you know, background, she was like, we need to bring this to my events and see what the reaction is, and that's how we started. How do you sell it? Yeah, so, so right now we sell direct-to-consumer, but last year our three distribution channels were catering, Smorgasburg, which is New York City's most popular market. That gave us the street cred, you know, to really have that proof of concept. And then we also did Stadium. So our first partnership was with City Field, home of the New York Mets, and they actually approached us. Did you get a commercial? So that's awesome. So, I, you know, I, I want to point out here that nobody has asked about sales directly yet, right? At least yeah. not that they have shown because this is, you know, it's an hour, hour and a half pitch and they cut it down to, you know, six, seven minutes. But, uh, you know, it, it, that's how much they love the product. And, I mean, they walked in with the 2.5 million valuation and no one's even questioned that yet. Like, right? How great is that? That means you got a real winner there. Hopefully they have real, like, really real sales with all these partnerships. Yes, we produce in a commercial kitchen, and we also have a co-packer who we've been working with for the last nine months. Lori, nice. you might be familiar with our co-packer. Um, we, we definitely sought them out because their biggest client is Bantam Bagel. Yes. Uh, I, I think, is that, are they down here? Is that Randa um, uh, not Randazzo's, um, Rastelli's? Is Rast I wonder if that's Rastelli's down here in, in Jersey. Sales be this year. So this year we're projecting eight hundred thousand dollars in sales. Wow, oh, very nice. We did three hundred forty-four thousand right. dollars in revenue last year. Year to date, wow. we've done seventy-seven thousand dollars. But we have a plan, and we know how to execute our plan. So prior to COVID, we were really a restaurant business, and so because of uh, the seasonality of our business, we knew that we had to launch e-commerce. Direct to customer frozen product. Correct. Yes, direct to it's customer. Tough. We we knew that was in the roadmap because currently we're New York City based. Our customers are from all around the country, and they wanted to know where they could find us. I learned something with Wicked good cupcakes yes <laughs> the first royalty deal in shark tank history just paid its millionth dollar wow. to me in royalties wow. fantastic <laughs> but the shipping journey mm -hmm. we took in the cost of the weight of cupcake jars made of glass we learned we had to sell six not three then we went to a dozen our goal right now is to find a different fulfillment center who can serve us one in the midwest one in the northeast right. and one in the south but what did you charge michelle what is this so come a, a in 12 this? pack yeah. is 24.99 and how much is shipping 9.99 so it's three bucks, okay. five dollars to get twelve pieces. Correct. Three and bucks a cupcake. What does it cost you to make these? I mean, that's expensive. Would you pay three bucks a cupcake? It's convenience, you yeah. know. So it really depends. I don't know. My husband and I, we um, we bought a whole bunch of food from Rastelli's actually that was pre-made yeah. because we figured that every Thursday we were so tired we would go spend fifty dollars on takeout. So maybe, yeah. <laughs> if it makes Thursday night dinner easier, yeah. Yeah. Why, why Thursday night instead of Friday night? Because we're so tired by Thursday. Mm, I don't know. It. <laughs> it's all right. I, we ordered out last night too. It's or, no, wait, oh, that was Wednesday. Yesterday That's was Wednesday. Wednesday. It's not even Friday. Oh wow. Big brain over here. Putting cents the together. That's expensive. Yeah, that's wow. expensive. It is expensive because we're making it by hand in our commercial kitchens. The recipe that we have uh, allow us to go to 48 cents per cupcake. And that's why we're here for your investment, so we can start production with our co-packer. Starting up, you haven't even figured out yet, you know, how it's all going to come together in terms of shipping a frozen product. I think you're going to have some significant challenges. There's no question about it. Good luck to you. Oh, come on. You're going to have some significant, you're like, you're, you're like foreshadowing, like you're going to have some significant challenges. Let me help you. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Here's where I'm at, guys. Um, I'm not even going to get into the valuation because you, you could be optimistic. Really, I just think that, I don't know if I'd be the greatest partner. As soon as I saw this, I was like, this is Bantam Bagels in another category. I know other people up here who have stadiums and a bunch of buddies with stadiums. So Yeah, with no one showing up right now. Oh, but they will yeah, show right? Up there, right? <laughs> Eventually, yes. yes. So uh, I really wish you all the best, but in the best interest of being a, a good shark for you, um, I'm not the best partner up here. I'm out. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Damon. Look, I'm really torn. I think you're going to get a better offer than I probably would have made you, but, man, you guys are the real deal. I'm out. Thank gonna you. get a better offer from First from time. Lori or <laughs> or Mark, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, one of them is definitely gonna got to be signed up here. Hopefully, um, hopefully. I think it's amazingly delicious. I mean, listen, you're from Venice and you're from New York. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing when it comes to pizza. Um, I'm gonna make you an offer. Woo! 
because I think there's really great synergy with my Bantam Bagels yeah. company. So Bantam Bagels, as you know, uh, started with a stuffed bagel ball, and we got into Starbucks nationwide, and then we got into all the major grocery stores, freezer sections. So that might be fun for them to also be involved. Come on, Lord, so I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going <laughs> to offer you 125000 but for 20%. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. That's a big haircut there. They came in. Thousand, but for twenty percent. Mamma mia! What we can bring to the table is worth it. I think that we can help you to skyrocket. Ouch! And it's I'll like be, a mom I'll offer. Be, uh, no, it's not at all. It's a great offer. I could have gone higher, actually. I, I, I think, I think that's a great. I think it's a great offer. What, what do you think? Twenty percent's a lot. It's a lot, but you're getting a, a, a ton of backup there. And not to mention the fact that this is a um, this is an edible, right? So people are going to buy, in theory, buy and then buy again and buy again and buy again and tell the True. friends and, tell, and buy again. So it's not the and, and the other thing is, is, you know, I don't know if they have the, the recipe patent, but like if if it doesn't work out, like you could always make pizza like. It, yeah. It's a thing that you could still make, you know? So you're, you're getting a partner, you're getting the money and you're only giving up 20%. I, I, I think that, you know, and they, and obviously as the other shark said, they have <coughs> a long way to do, go to scale that up. So I, yeah. I think, I think it's a good deal. I, I think for, for an edible product that that's like pizza, you could change the ingredients or whatever you had to do, or, you know, just go sell regular pizza for now. You know, if you had to get out of a con contract deal or, yeah. or a non-compete or something like that, I, I think, you know, unless they get something way better than that, uh, I, I think they should just, just go with it. I mean, you have an offer. That's pretty yes, interesting. Yes, yeah, no, amazing. Well, you can follow in our footsteps of every single distribution channel that we have. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, guys, I mean, look, if you want to stay frozen, working with Bantam is the way to go. Here's the thing, right? Selling frozen is hard, as Lori will tell you, as we've all done. Getting to space is really hard. Getting it to deliver at a reasonable price is really hard. And so for those reasons, I'm out. But congratulations, guys. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Oh, oh, man. And yes, no, Lori, 20% yeah. is too high for us. I feel like we've already um, gone through a lot of challenges. We found the co-packer, which I think is the most difficult part. Would you oh, be oh, they found, they happened to find the co-packer that Lori was already working with, that they happened to, you know, probably did their research on to go find. Yeah, but Lori's got the relationships. So yes. that can accelerate growth really quickly. Abs absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I mean, to me, look, maybe counter with 15%, you know, 125 for 15% or, or maybe a little more cash if they feel like they could, could actually use the cash for something specific right now. Uh, and try to push it down just a little bit, but I don't think she's going to, uh, I, nah, she might, she might budge down to 15, maybe 17.5 willing to do 125,000 for 10%. <sighs> we, we work really hard. Just meet in the middle. We really, Go we to 15. Heavy lifting. We have investors on board who are also really strategic. We've been in conversations with one of the largest distributors right now who wants us to participate in their incubator program to get us into retail. I know the So I think the question is is how much do they actually own then? <laughs> if right. They're, if they're that protective of it time and effort and all of that that we will put in i know you're going to do the heavy lifting but i know that i will also be opening so many doors for you if i can get you into starbucks nationwide that's nine thousand locations and then getting into kroger albertson's it will be so worth it to you i will not go to 10 percent um my 17.5 bottom line would be 15. there you go i called it just say yes don't 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 well maybe they can't Listen, you will love me, fifteen percent. I got. You want me to be invested in you, and Would you, you be want willing me to work to go hard. up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars for fifteen percent? One hundred twenty-five, fifteen percent, and I promise you, you will not regret it. So, Bantam Bagel, you invested at a one point one million dollar valuation when they were on the show, and we have mm -hmm. higher revenue than them. And we've also have figured out our co-packer situation. We also have, you know, we're, we're Boom, shipping direct to, go, direct to direct to consumer. Our marketing and is we, much stronger. It's okay we, to stick to guns. You know right? what, you guys? I completely, I completely. Understand it, but here's something you don't know. You said you were learning the road, right? What I know is, is that there's so much more for you to learn. And the thing that is invaluable is learning experience. I had no mentor. I had to figure out everything for myself.
myself. But I do know that somebody could come and sit with me for just one day, and I could save them two years' worth of time of mistakes. Guys, you sound like also a student of Shark Tank. You know your numbers. I got that. But you also know something else about Shark Tank. You, when you only have one offer, yeah. you're skating on really thin yes. ice. Yes. And now you have to make a decision. No, I know. Yeah. Um, take, take the 15%. Can I make one more counter offer? You can oh. do whatever you like. Would you be willing to do $125,000 for 12.5% and then 2.5% in advisory shares? Lori, what are you saying? Wow. You got to do it. Congratulations, guys. Shark hug. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, it thinks I can't go and hug. Make sure my pizza is at my house by this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's that's awesome. Uh, but I, yeah, I guess th they must have had some kind of deal that they've already cut where they, they just could not get to 20 percent because they would probably lose too much. But that also makes you wonder, like, why didn't they why didn't the Sharks ask what that, you know, where they were? Why were you know, why was it such a, you know, so difficult that you couldn't give up two and a half percent or, or I know, right? It's like, two and a half percent. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. Uh, but here was what I do know. Here is the uh, the the I was going to say Bantam Bagel, but uh, here is the the pizza cupcake due to overwhelming demand from Shark Tank and COVID uh, shipped between late March and mid April. But wow. why? Learn more. Wow. Good for good for them. That's that's awesome. There's them at the at the Mets Stadium. So let's see how uh, pre-order now, so I could buy a box for twenty five ninety nine, twelve pieces. It's definitely definitely seems pricey, but I guess when you got dry ice insulation and a box to ship it in, but that's probably before before shipping. I wonder what the let's see the shipping cost is. How do I get it shipped? Oh eight oh two oh. Find out. Awesome, we shipped to this area. Well, <laughs> well, it's in America, so I kind of would hope so. Uh, I guess that. How do I? Where's the? Uh, let's see. I I don't I don't. Know. I guess I have to put my whole shipping address in to find out how much this was going to ship for. But uh, I mean, if I had to guess, probably about seven seven eight bucks. If I, I think it's guess. a ten. Ten was it ten dollars? Yeah. Let me see. I uh, put my information in here. Twelve ninety nine for one to Ooh. two day shipping. So for for twelve muffins, it's gonna run me thirty eight ninety eight. That is an expensive. That is an expensive cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, everyone, thank you so much for hanging in there and watching this uh, episode of Biz Coach Reacts. Jamie, tell them where they can find you and what they should be reaching out to you for. I hope I pointed in the right direction. I wasn't looking yeah. at the camera. I'm Jamie Palmer. I'm an online business strategist. And um, you can find me on YouTube or my podcast. Just search Jamie Palmer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, I need you to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video to, into the hands of more super entrepreneurs like yourself. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss another Biz Coach Reacts video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.